Hello everyone. In this video I, I would like to show basics workflow by MBSIM environment. MBSIM environment is a free open source tool for simulation of multi-body systems. To first we need objects, bodies for simulation. You can create simple visual, visual, visualization object direct with MBSIM, cube, sphere, cylinder or you can import from CRD. The points is frames for kinematic and kinetic expression. Sometimes you should create joints first before bodies. After we need interconnections between frames and bodies, links, kinetic excitation, joints, spring damper or contact. After this creates outputs, define your solver and can start simulation and few results. Now I will do this step by step. For better visual visualization, I create parts in CID, three parts, piston, rod and crankshaft and import these to embassy. I go to FreeCAD, new model and switch to part design mode. First I construct piston, new body, sketch. Cylinder with a diameter 100 mm. Ex extrude my sketch 100 mm. Uh, this is a rep repetitive work, also CID work. You create sketch, you extrude or remove. Because of this, I speed up the preview from CID process. CID is ready and I export the parts, piston, rod and crankshaft. After this, start a new project in Embezim and to begin I define my, my object rigid bodies. Name piston and leave mass on interior tensor at default. To visualization, inventor body and import my CRD. Scale factor is important because my CID is in millimeter and embezim I work with meter model. Scale factor is 0.001. Now you can see CID part. I import second part. Rod, same operation. Inventor file. And uh, finally, import crankshaft.
you can see all parts uh, with a mass of uh, one kilo you can also use interior tensioned mass from UCRD. Note of the findings of frames. Global frame at the rotation position. You can take the points from CRD. 0 0.37 meters is the di distance from the zero point to rotation point. My new frame is here. For each connection, for joint, I will need frames of bodies. Two connections, one between piston and rod and one uh, between rod and crankshaft. For each body I create a frame at the connection position. So the first part, piston, relative position is 0 0.03 in x direction. Rename it to Piston Connect. I create kinematic for piston. I open my part and go to kinematic and choose translation along x direction. The piston can only move along the x axis. In, in other direction it has constraints. Part 1 is finished and I can edit the second part. It is the same steps, define frames and kinematic for rod. I, I need two frames because there are two connections between rod and piston and rod and crankshaft. Create two frames in position of connection and translation kinematic for road along X and Y axis. And additional rotation about Z. For crankshaft also need two frames for connection with road and for Kinematic excitation. my rotation first frame connection to road on frame for rotation it is here kinematic from crankshaft only rotation about z ax with frame of reference okay now I can define links first rotation of crankshaft kinetic excitation on frame rotation
moment direction z constant constant function one you can choose different functions for for execution linear bidirectional sinus or many others for this example i leave it constant function with value of one here you can see moment i scale visualization Excitation is finished. Now I can connect my parts. I connect frame. from crankshaft on the road with interaction force direction in x and y directions bilateral you can also define a joint uh, with stiffness and damping. So the crankshaft and rod are now connected. I connect the rod to the piston in the same way. To the solver, I do analysis for five seconds and start solver. Results. You can see parts are connected, uh, but kinematic is not a good. I have a small mistake. I forgot gravity acceleration in my model. Gravity is always active by default. I deactivated it. Uh, go back to my model. In model properties, you can see acceleration of gravity in y direction is active. Deactivated it and additional add plot for position. Run simulation again. Results. The movement is correct. I make frames invisible. And animate again. With plot viewer, you can check position. For example, position x, y, z from connection point between rod and crankshaft. That was for today. You can find the link so MBSIM homepage in video description and have fun with multibody simulation. See you next time. Bye bye.